In this video, we're going to talk about differentials. So let's consider a function f of x. We're going to pick two points on that function, x comma f of x and x plus h comma f, f of x plus h. Notice that we have a delta y, which is a change in f of x plus x, f of x plus h, and f of x. And then we have a delta x, which is a change in x values along that x-axis, which is the distance between x and x plus h. And you should note that delta x is also equal to h. So I've drawn a green tangent line on the graph that touches the function at one point, so it's tangent at the point x comma f of x. Now I'm putting a point, which is a yellow point there, on the tangent line, which is just below the black point x plus h, f of x plus h. And we notice that the change in height on the tangent line is dy. That's the change in height between this yellow point right here and this black point right here that's, that's shared by the function and the tangent line. Notice that the change in height of the points on the tangent line is delta y, I'm sorry, dy, and the change in height of the points on the function are delta y. So we can see that delta y is approximately equal to dy. So if I could find a way to calculate dy, I could use that as an approximation for delta y, and that's the whole point of our idea of differentials. So that distance between x and x plus h, if we look at that distance on the tangent line, we're just going to refer to that as dx. And so what you're going to notice is that our convention is going to be to use little d's when I'm talking about distances related to the tangent line, and deltas when I'm talking about distances related to the function. Now, from our most basic information on lines, we know that the slope of any line is a rise over the run. So the slope of that tangent line would have to be dy divided by dx, which is equal to m. And we know from the calculus that we've learned that the slope of the tangent line at the point is exactly the same thing as the derivative at the point. So dy divided by dx is equal to f prime of x. Now you might notice immediately that this is very similar to the Leibniz notation, and that's one of the beauties of that notation. Because when we're talking about differentials, we can use that notation to help us remember what dy is. And namely, dy dx is the slope of the tangent line, f prime of x, same thing as that. And so if I multiply through by dx, then I get that dy, our differential, is equal to f prime of x dx. And this is approximately delta y. And so we want to now refer to this entity as the differential. All right, so let's try an example. So if y is equal to x times e to the x, we like to find the differential. Now we know that the differential dy is always going to be equal to f prime of x times dx. And we know that f prime of x is equal to y prime. And in this particular problem, we're going to use a product rule. So we get 1 times e to the x plus x times e to the x. We can simplify that, factoring out an e to the x. And we get that that derivative, f prime of x, is e to the x times 1 plus x. Now we multiply the derivative times dx, and we get that the differential dy will be e to the x times 1 plus x dx. So now we can actually calculate the differential. Now let's see in another example how we might actually be able to use this calculation to approximate the change in height of the function delta y. So the question says approximate the change in y equals x times e to the x between x not equals 0, where x not just represents the start, and x equals 0 0.1. So one thing we do know is that delta y is approximately equal to our differential. So from our previous problem, we know that this differential dy is equal to e to the x times 1 plus x dx. So we can calculate dy if we know x and we know dx. Well, we do know x. In our particular case, our starting x is what's referred to as x naught, and that's 0. And we've been given in the function 
that we're stopping at x equals 0 0.01. So x0 is always referred to as a start, and our x is the finish. Some books said x0 may be called a or c, but it's still the starting x. So if we have a little number line here, if we start at x0 equals 0 and we end up at x equals 0 0.01, then the h or dx is equal to 0 0.01. So now we have everything that we need to plug in on this right hand side to actually solve. So delta y is approximately equal to e to the 0 times 1 plus 0 times 0 0.01. We simplify and we find that in this particular problem delta y is approximated by dy which is 0 0.01. So let's take a look at a graph and see. So this red line is that my sketch of f of x equals x e to the x. And then what you see here is the delta y is the actual change in the functional values between x equals 0, which for our function would be 0, and x equals 0 0.01, which would be whatever 0 0.01 times e to the 0 0.01 is, right? So we're trying to approximate that entity. And what we're doing is we're looking at the change in height on that blue tangent line and that dy. So we're calculating that dy and saying that it's approximately equal to the delta y.